No matter what your parents or teachers say, I know you've got a brain inside that head of yours. That unassuming blob of white and gray matter is pretty amazing. But as you're growing up, things can be chaotic. Hormones, puberty, rapid brain development, it's all happening at once, and you'd be forgiven for being just a little confused from time to time. There is some good news, though. You're not weird, you're not broken, you're a teenager. And I'm here to give you a crash course on your own brain. Hello and welcome to my channel, where we share videos about all things puberty. From topics like this one to issues such as how to handle peer pressure or the effects of pornography on teen boys. If you're interested in receiving our weekly video updates, then hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's jump straight in. It probably comes as no surprise that the teen brain works differently to an adult's brain. It explains your parents' fashion sense, their taste in music, and how they still need help setting up apps on their iPhone. Ironically, they think you're just as weird. As a teenager, you've probably heard the stereotype. Teenagers are supposed to be emotional, insane, unpredictable, and dramatic. Hands up if I just described you perfectly. The old narrative was that it was all the fault of hormones. These nasty chemicals coursing through your body, turning you into a crying, emotional soap opera. And while they do contribute to the madness of your teenage years, it's only one piece of a bigger, angsty puzzle. Deep inside your brain is a tiny almond-shaped structure we call the amygdala, located in the emotional processing region of the brain known as the limbic system. The amygdala acts as the smoke detector of the emotional brain. When a person feels unsafe, fearful, or perceives danger, the amygdala detects the threat and the limbic system takes over. This can look like aggression, uncontrollable crying, panic, fear, or an inability to be reasoned with. You know, just your standard teenage freakout. And while adults also have this system, in the teen brain, the prefrontal cortex is still developing. This prefrontal cortex is responsible for all our adult-like executive functions, such as problem solving, rational thinking, motivation, impulse control, organization, and decision making. So now it makes sense as why logic won't work when you're upset. When overloaded, the teen brain becomes overwhelmed with an emotional response and lacks the cognitive function to see past it. To top it all off, another developing region of your brain is the nucleus accumbens. It's involved in the impulse pleasure pathway in the brain, making you seek out things that bring pleasure and reward. Now, if the accumbens was one of your friends, your parents would probably want you to stop hanging out with them. They're wild impulsive, and don't consider the risk or consequences of their actions in the slightest, often getting you into dicey situations. But why should it consider the risks? That's the prefrontal cortex's job after all. The accumbens is only interested in the good times. The only problem is, the prefrontal cortex is still under construction. This results in some very short-sighted decision-making, risky behavior, and lack of impulse control. But there is some good news. Don't worry, you won't be stuck in this emo nightmare forever. By the age of 21, your prefrontal cortex catches up to the rest of you, giving you a much more pronounced executive function and the fashion sense of your parents. Don't be in too much of a rush to grow up, though. You've got plenty of time to hysterically cry over a two-week relationship and slam a few bedroom doors for dramatic effect. Being a teenager can be confusing and emotional. I know, but just like high-waisted jeans, side parts, and anything by Takeshi69, it's just a phase, and it'll be over before you know it. And that's all we have time for today. We hope you have a better understanding of what's going on between your ears. What other tween and teen health topics would you like us to cover in our next video? Do you have any burning questions you're too scared to ask a friend or a parent? Don't be shy. Ask away in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos about topics that matter most. Thanks for watching.